Hi guys, and welcome to Contextual Electronics. My name is Chris Gamble. Today we're going to be going over a plugin that was contributed by one of the users in the community that I think is really, really useful, specifically for doing assembly. Uh, if you don't know, KiCad is very extensible using Python scripting, and uh, basically this is a great example of it. So let's take a quick look over at what the plugin actually is. This is the page over on the KiCad forum, and there is a demo plugin, but it's called Interactive Bomb, and basically this is one of the demos here. Basically, it's an, it generates an HTML page where you can go through and highlight these different things, and then as you're placing them, you can basically say, oh, I placed these now, that's done. You can kind of keep track over time. And that's, it's just a really, really useful tool. And we'll go more into this in a second here. Now, for actually for installing it, I'm going to go and say download, download zip. And, uh, and then there's an installation instructions in the wiki further down the page. And what we're going to do is we're going to go install it in this location. So app data, roaming, KiCad scripting plugins. Right? And so I'm going to go into my home folder here. This is the app data folder. You can see this is actually hidden normally. So you see it's kind of like a grayed out folder here. So I'm going to go into that. If you don't see it, you should be able to go into folder options, I think, and view. I think there's a uh, yeah show hidden items, at least in Windows 10. So that's going to be de dependent on your system. There's, there's other options here on the left you can see as well. So I'm going to go into here. I'm going to go into roaming, KiCad. And then I'm going to make the other folders here. So then scripting plugins. So new folder scripting. And then in here, folder, plugins. OK. I'm going to go open up this uh, directory here. Hopefully, be able to grab this folder directly in and extract it out. I'm going to rename this. Uh, if you don't know from, uh, from GitHub, basically, when it's the master, when it's the main, bra the main branch, it's going to attach master on it. So I'm just going to rename that here. And now we see there's actually all this stuff in here. OK. Uh, I think actually wanna, I might want to extract this out, but we'll see if this works. OK, so I'm going to close out this project and then open it back up. All right, and like I said, I mean, there are just instructions online. So if you have problems, you can either go and ask in the forum thread or uh, you, know, you can go to the, this uh, uh, is the instructions on GitHub as well. So I'll have links to that in the description. So we have our project here. It looks like the, uh, the icon is up here. Uh, so this was that two to four layer board that we did already. I'm going to go open this up now. And what we see is on the right side, so now we have uh, basically it's generated a part list with all of the different parts grouped by value. Uh, and now we can go through and actually, as we mouse over and highlight them, it actually shows them on the right side there. So there's all of the 100 picofarad, the 1 microfarad, and uh, on, onward down. Now it also shows the logo because that is a component in KiCad, but that we can just ignore that. What I like doing is actually when I'm highlighting things, I um, usually I'll be if I'm hand assembling, so if I'm using tweezers to assemble things, then I'll hit N, and that actually marks it as placed. On the left side, there's a little check in the box here, you can see. And now, basically, as I go down, so basically, I'll just have my laptop out. I'll look at where to place, hit N, 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 N. And then it basically just kind of goes down to all of the different components that you have on board here. So that's really, really useful. There's also some other, um, some other settings you can have here, depending on what you like, how you like to do this stuff. You can filter. Uh, you can just look at one side. You can just look at the top side. And then this is actually interactive as well. You can actually zoom in and out using your mouse wheel, click and drag around. That's super useful. Uh, also, things like dark mode, if you like having that kind of thing, I guess it looks a little bit cooler. And uh, you know, and, and then even things like board rotation, right? So if you're depending how you're working on your bench, you can, you know, you might want to say, oh, well, it's a little easier if I'm, uh, you know, having it 90 degrees rotated, and that can really help um, because that's that's the only way that you can actually uh, modify or have the board sitting on your bench at the time. So I think this is just a fantastic plugin. I think that this is another. A great showcasing of what is available in KiCad, especially because the community is helping out. And like I said, there is forum stuff, so if you need to go and get help getting it installed or using it, um, that is possible over in the KiCad forum. So uh, definitely, definitely check this out if you're doing any kind of hand assembly. Even if you want to just take take a look at your bomb at any point, I think that this is actually a nicer view of the bomb than the bomb tool, which we will go over in the future. The bomb tool hasn't changed too much. Uh, it's gotten a little bit better from KiCad 4 to KiCad 5, but I think that the extensible nature of KiCad is really what's going to be its saving grace uh, over time because there's there's a list of uh, con community contributed projects online and, and it just keeps growing and it's really really nice to have that uh, people who are more software 
savvy than myself uh, are contributing and helping out. And I will mention too, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to meeting them. There is a uh, KaiCon, which is a conference coming up in April of 2019. So if you're watching this later, you might not have made it to that, but uh, that is happening in 2019 in Chicago, Illinois. And uh, there is a, uh, we'll have a link down below for the conference as well. So uh, looking forward to more plugins in the future. If you have more questions, you can always go over to the forum. That's forum.kiked.info and ask over there. Looking forward to talking to you.